What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, welcome back to another boxing video! As I continue to catch up with my boxes, this one's a little bit old and I apologize. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing the 2018 November Marvel Gear and Goods box! This is like the, uh, kind of like, home goods box from Loot Crate that's Marvel themed. I actually have the January box in as well, but I don't have enough time today to unbox two boxes in this video. So we're just gonna go ahead Oh, and unboxes. I don't have my knife up here. I moved it. Oh, geez. Okay, let's see. We can do this. We can figure this out. I just need something kind of sharp. Let's see. What do we have? What do we have? My Spider-Man phone thing? Eh. Here, I'll just, I'll rip the tape. All right, if you're interested in getting this box, I'm gonna put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you rip the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. What is that? That feels like a, a poster tube. Okay, I have no idea what the theme to this box was. Oh. With the Hydra symbol there, I feel like this is gonna be a box full of like villains or something. Okay, here's the wearable. We're gonna set that to the side. Is that Loki? Is that Loki? It doesn't look like Loki. A little bit, it looks like Loki. Okay, here we go. First item we have is in this tube. It is a poster of some sort. Ooh. Ugh, it's really hard to get out of here. Okay. Artist Alessandro Maselli. Here's this poster. I have recently liked a lot of the posters that Luke Crit has given. So, yeah, I think this is a villain's box. You get Loki and Thanos and all the other bad guys and the Hydra symbol. I don't know too many. I actually don't know too many of the bad guys now that I think about it. But, cool poster. It's just a print. It's not signed or, or numbered or anything like that. But it's still neat. I like that. I'll take that. Next, we have probably a mug for Distinguished Service. Get your Hydra logo, logo, logo. Okay, so we have <laughs> a, a mug that says Hydra, employee of the month. And then on the back there's a checklist that says kidnap, sidekick, check. Defeat nemesis, check. Take over world, pick up Red Skull's dry cleaning. How funny is that? All right, I dig that, I dig that. I think it would have been cool if this was like a heat changing mug and when you um, put something hot, like the check mark showed up. Ooh, guess what guys, guess what? Dishwasher safe. Yes. Okay, that gets extra props because lately all of our cups and stuff have not been dishwasher safe. We have our loop pin, which is Red Skull. This is a really big pin. I like the kind of like retro colors going on on this. It has two backings. It's a very thin pin though. Um, you know, lately we've been getting some thicker pins. This one is like paper thin. I don't know if you guys can kind of see how thin it is. That looks like it's thick because of the shadowing, but it's very thin. Very thin. We have this box that says hail, dot, dot, dot. Is this gonna be like a ring? Oh, it's another pin. So we got another pin and it's, it's hail hydra. It's the hydra symbol, but like, I don't want another pin. Cut off a limb and two more shall take its place. I like the fanciness of this though. I like the packaging and everything. And the pin itself is actually nice. It's it's thick, it's small though. It's, it's a little bit small, but uh, I just don't, I don't like when we get like two pins. We don't need two pins. Come on, man. All right, the big item in this box prior to the shirt is this item. Oh, it's a Thanos item. Thanos. And on the back it says Thanos bookend. It's a silhouette bookend of Thanos. And he's got his gauntlet on, but like because they didn't color it, it looks kind it looks like a bear. Doesn't that look like a bear claw? Isn't that hilarious? They didn't put any they should have colored these. I might have to color them myself because 
it's not iconic unless you have the coloring. It does look like Thanos. It's just, it would look more like Thanos if we colored in the Infinity Stones. But there you go, you got a bookend. That's neat, I like that. I like useful products like that. And I don't have a whole lot of books. Well, all my books are at my old house. I do need to move them over. So I'll, I can use that for my bookend. Uh, last item we have is our wearable. This is a men's medium Loot Crate exclusive and it's black. Is it a long sleeve shirt? Yes, I feel, felt a little bit thicker. Based off of what I saw, it looked like low key, but comic book low key, I think. Right? That's what I'm going with. Has some different kind of writing, but I'm gonna say this is low key with a giant headdress. Cool shirt. It's not super soft or anything, but most long sleeve shirts aren't. All right, that's all the items in the box. The theme this month was the lair, or this box, because I guess this box is technically, this was the November box, December, January, and the next box, so it's, it's every other month I get this box, and the theme this box was the lair. Hmm, okay, here we go. Pricing and recap time. We have our Hydra Employee of the Month mug. I like the mug, I like that it's dishwasher safe, I love the box that it came in. I'm gonna go ahead and give that mug, I'm gonna say $8. We had our Loki long sleeve shirt, I'm gonna go ahead and give that $12, licensed shirts. No, 15, sorry, because it's a long sleeve. We had the Thanos bookend. I actually really enjoy this item and I like that it came in actual like packaging and stuff, which is nice as well. I think you could give this, hmm, you definitely could probably give this anywhere from eight to $10. I'm thinking you might be able to raise it up to 12 to 15. I think 15 might be kind of high. I think 12 might be kind of high. I think I'm comfortable giving this 10. It's, you know, it's pretty straightforward. It's your metal, your metal thing. It is licensed and stuff, but I don't know. I'm gonna stick with 10 for right now. We had our Marvel Villains artwork from Alessandro Maselli. I like the artwork, it's very big. I think you could probably give this, I would say maybe around seven to eight dollars. I would give it 10 if it was signed and or numbered, but since it's not, I'm just gonna say eight. I'll stick on the lower end. We had our Hydra lapel pin. A nice little pin, but it is quite small. I do like the packaging, I think because the way they package everything, I'm gonna go ahead and give this pin five dollars. I think four to five dollars is fair for that. And then we had a Red Skull Evil Laugh pin. This one is um, weirdly, because it's even though it's big, it's it, it's not as like quality driven as this one, to be honest. Um, but I think because of its size, you can give it five. I, I wouldn't, if it was thicker, I'd probably give it more, but since it's not, I'm just gonna give that five. Everything was exclusive to this box. According to my pricing, this box is worth $51. Okay, this box costs $42 when you get the one crate subscription, so that charges uh, every other month. If you get the six crate, six crate subscription, which is a year subscription, it drops it down to $40 a month, but I think I'm getting it quarterly, so I'm gonna say minus the 42, which means we got $9 extra value. So here's what I'm saying about this box. I don't like the theme of this box, although I realize that I do like Thanos and I do like Loki. I always have considered myself not Oh, no, that's not true. I do sometimes tend to like bad guys. I don't know why, but uh, I actually liked a lot of the items in this box. The items, my least favorite item, honestly, is this red school pin, only because it's so thin. Like, it's weird to me, the quality of this pin, it just seemed to kind of drop down, but I do like this pin. I thought this pin was actually nice. I would have preferred just to get this one and not this one. Like, if they would have made this their pin instead of this. Uh, I like the Thanos bookend, and I like I actually really like this mug, and then the shirt's okay. I like Loki, but I'm not necessarily a fan of this version of Loki, because, eh, you know, I don't even know. Who's the guy that plays Re Loki, like, in the movies? I think I just like, I might like, oh, Tom Hiddleston. Hiddleston, I think his name is. Dude who dated Taylor Swift. Isn't that crazy? Anyways, um, I do think that they did a good job with a lot of their items and the quality. Like, they actually packaged them, which is nice, because sometimes lately we've been getting some kind of janky items. But yeah, all in all, it was actually a pretty good box, and we hit our value and got $9 extra value, and that's with me pricing things pretty low. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think that if I had to rate this box, I would probably give this box, uh, I would say a 4.5 out of 5 noobs for me personally, because I like the quality of items. There was a few items that I wasn't a huge fan of just uh, design wise but uh, I did also like a good amount of items I thought they did a, I really thought they did a good job with these three items I thought that they did a good job with the actual packaging of them and everything so 
And then the items are actually nice themselves. So, way to go, Loot Crate. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below, what did you guys think about this box? I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this box. I hadn't seen any spoilers or anything, so, you know, everything was kind of a surprise. Like I said, these are definitely my three favorite items from the box. I'm excited to kind of see what the January box has in store, so be on the lookout for that. I'll probably film that within the next few days or so. Um, but yeah, let me know what all of your thoughts are down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or sent to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. I uh, just wanna give a quick shout out to everybody who watched the video that I posted last night, which was a video of somebody stealing a package from my doorstep. I actually have no idea what they stole because I wasn't expecting a package. Sometimes I don't keep up with my packages, you know? It looked like a Funko Pop, but I was kind of confused because like, I don't remember like ordering a Funko Pop recently, so I'm gonna have to look back in all my orders. Um, some of the companies are getting really cool and they're actually sending notification when a package has been delivered. And that definitely helps me like shoo me, like they'll, I'll get an email that says like your package has been delivered. So that really gives me a heads up of like, okay, there's something that should be outside. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do some research on it. But thank you so much for everybody who supported me on that video because I know a lot of you guys, like a lot of you guys have been commenting and I appreciate it. Today's video shout out is gonna go to, I'm gonna give it to Nerds World, Nerds World, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support and I want to give you the video shout out. So shout out to you Nerds World, shout out to you. All right guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time, bye.